Hey, how's it going guys? It's your boy Blurry Day back with another video and I have no idea why I didn't mention in this month's recap video when, of course I did say like, there isn't much that went on in that video, but this should have hit me in the head like, oh, this specific event happened and this should have been at least um, the main topic of that video, so why not just make it a separate video then anyways? Um... So as we all know, uh, Toys R Us stores, they are coming back slowly, and uh, I'm just happy to say that I'm considered a Toys R Us kid because, um, because growing up, guys, I gotta tell you, I was so jealous by the fact, like, I've heard a lot of my friends over the years, they went to Toys R Us stores, and because, um, the one that was open in St. Cloud years ago live 30 minutes away from us, like, oh my gosh, I really wish we could have had a store here in my town. Um, so, in September 2013, right, um, as usual, me and my family, we do our family outings, and we finally go to Toys R Us for the first time, and it, it, there wasn't much working there, but, like, still, it was an experience, right, and, I mean, I was really hoping that everything would be there, you know, but like, um, like I said, there wasn't much to work with, but there was some really cool stuff over there. Um, hang on one second. Um, yeah, it was kind of like a small store, but it was pretty cool. Like, oh my gosh, I, I wish, I wish I could have gotten something from there at least. Like that, that would have been pretty cool. Um. Yeah, um, like I said, the, this, this this counts as me being a Toys R Us kid, but just that one time, you know, at least I got to, like, like bring it in, again, that experience, and um, I remember growing up, there were some Toys R Us exclusives that I really wanted to get, um, and also, it'd be impossible to, like, Beg my parents every time to go to Toys R Us. Like, it was so funny. Um, I remembered um, one of the Civil War sets back in 2016, guys, right? They had a Toys R Us exclusive set that had Spider-Man, Hawkeye, and the Vision. Because they all had new prints, right? And I, I remembered I really wanted that set so bad. And I, I still want that set to this day, guys. Like... That's the only way you could complete your Civil War collection is getting that, you know. Um, back in April when we had our spring train show, right? We went to the Crossroads Mall and they had a Toys R Us store in, um, in JCPenney. And let me tell you guys, it is a weird store like to have a Toys R Us in there and this still counts um they, they just had the one section there again there wasn't really much going on or contributing with this but like hey it, it at least it, it was kind of like peaking in a way to to let kids know like hey we're coming back um and I'm just happy that I actually got a let's just say Toys R Us exclusive in my collection, like, do you guys remember this, this year, I, um, I finally got the Infinity War of October box set, because remember, remember the early images, like, the, the Toys R Us logo was on there, but because they, they were, they were in bankruptcy, right, back in 2018, so they had to take it off, and, and they, they, they just made that, like, an offer at, like, not just Lego stores, but, like, some bookstores that I'm, I'm aware of, yeah. Um, yeah, um, but yeah, with, with, with Toys R Us coming back, like, I really do hope that we get one here in my hometown because, uh, that way I could have more of that experience as, as an adult collector, you know, like, um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of adult toy collectors that go to, or that went to Toys R Us, um, and get really cool stuff. Weren't there Toys R Us's in, 
were either available in Canada or just opening up in Canada, right? Like, is kind of is that kind of like the first thing to do, like to open those stores and? Hmm. Also, like, don't just release Toys R Us locations in bigger cities. Like, again, Saint Cloud was definitely one of them. Uh, the the old building that sometimes we drive by, like, it's still there. You can even see like the like the prints of like of like the logo that was there. Oh man. Um Yeah, just do not just put them in big cities, okay? You gotta put them in every city in every state in the country. Um, I believe that is fair because you don't wanna force families to like drive thirty heck even an hour to one say just to go to Toys R Us, like um And, sure, we could have ordered some things off the website back in the day. Um, I don't know why we didn't. I guess we were all just occupied with other things, so that makes sense. <laughs> um, yeah, just, again, I really hope we get, I really do hope we get a, a store in our hometown, because that would be, uh, that'd be pretty cool. Um... Yeah, and who knows if if that does happen? Maybe, you know, <laughs> hypothetically speaking, get a get a job there. You know. Um, yeah, I just hearing stories about other people's thoughts and opinions and their stories of Toys R Us. You know, their childhood experiences with the stores closing five years ago, and then them slowly coming back in recent years, like, yeah. Again, I'm not really sure what happened, like, if they did go bankrupt, guys, like, uh, just fill me in on it, um, I just, I just thought I would fill in that missing piece of the September edition of my stories that I've talked about recently, um, yeah, like, I want to hear your guys' stories on your Toys R Us experiences, like, what was it like for you guys, and, um, man, just, again, just seeing pictures of different Toys R Us locations, like, they were so cool, and, uh, Evan Tube is another example, like, him and his family, they went to Toys R Us a lot of times, and they will get a lot of cool stuff. Weren't, this might just be me that remember this, but, like, weren't the old Lego Minecraft sets were, like, Toys R Us exclusives before, um, I guess, like, the more popular ones became more mainstream to, like, other stores. Like, you guys know which Minecraft sets I'm talking about. The ones without the characters, like, um... I'm pretty sure those are pretty hard to come by now. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. I, again, I just thought I would talk to you about this, guys. Like... Again, it, this location wasn't much, but it, it was an experience, and I gotta say, I actually enjoyed that experience more than a few months back at J.C. Penney's. Um, I get again that that's that's kind of peak, all right. Like just to like kind of foreshadow, like uh, yeah, Toys R Us is coming back. It will come back in its full form. Just we we just don't know when, right, guys? Um, of course, I'm not keeping track of this stuff. 24-7, because, you know, I got other stuff to prioritize, but, like, um, hey, when I find out that Toys R Us stores are reopening again, and hopefully here in Minnesota, um, I'd be all for it. <laughs> I would love to go with a group of friends, too, like, that, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for bye. May the Lord be with you guys. Always love guys. Peace out, guys. And uh, let's keep bringing Toys R Us alive, guys. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.